it wasn't just a regular picture, guys. It was it was a nude picture, like completely full nude picture. What a high quality intro that was. Anyway, before we get started, I just want to warn you that this story takes cringe to a whole new level. So if you can't handle cringe, then get the fuck out. I don't think that's a great way to get people to watch my video. Anyway, I'll edit it out. So this story begins when I was just entering high school. Throughout my high school years, I played a game called Dungeons & Dragons Online. And that game pretty much killed my entire social life. I had almost no friends. Okay, I had no friends. But... I did have a lot of friends in Dungeons & Dragons Online. Because I played the game so much, I ended up being really good at the game. I had a bunch of max level characters, I did a lot of damage, I played a lot of quests, I had really good gear. People love that. So I made quite a few online friends. And of course I talked to people quite a bit in the game. In real life, not so much. In the game, quite a bit. And I just found it to be the time of my life. It was awesome. I was just having a great time talking to lots of people, meeting people from all over the world that played the game. It was great. Anyway, one day I was running a quest. It was a high level quest, I remember. And uh, I was talking to somebody named Lexa. I was like, oh, Lexa, hmm, you know, that sounds like a girl's name. And so I decided to add her to friends. And guess what? She added me back, and I was thinking to myself, hmm, this is interesting. Could this be a girl actually wants to talk to me in a video game? I was just thinking, wow, this is awesome, right? I was 14 years old at the time, so um, I wasn't as cautious as I should have been. And that actually ends up getting me in a bit of trouble. But anyway, I was talking, you know, we did quests together, we leveled up other characters together, and we just talked, just using the chat. Nothing really too crazy, right? Then she ends up talking to me more and more, and she just messages me more and more. And every time I'm logging in, Lexa is messaging me. And I'm thinking to myself, that's great. You know, I can't believe it. A, a girl might actually be talking to me in a video game. So I talked to her back. And as time went on, we talked more and more. And I ended up talking to other people less and less. Yeah, it, it was just pretty much me logging into the game just chatting to her and then logging off and for a little while that was my entire day playing Dungeons and Dragons online as time moved on we ended up moving to a Ventrilo server and back in back in the day people used Ventrilo this was before Skype and all that shit that they have now so we used Ventrilo and we started talking on voice and she actually sounded fairly normal uh, you know, I hadn't talked to many girls in high school. Okay, I hadn't talked to any girls in high school. And, uh, from what I could tell, she sounded fine. So, there were no flags or anything going off in my head. So, talking on Ventrilo was great, because text is kind of annoying. You can't really do anything when you're playing a game, texting and talking on text chat and all that. But when you're on voice chat, you can actually quest and move around and do all sorts of stuff. So it was great because we were able to quest and talk and play and all these things at once. Time went by. We got to know each other a little bit better. Not anything creepy yet. At this point, I was convinced that I was talking to a girl because... You know, her name was Lexa. She was playing a female character. Everybody that plays a female character is a girl, right, guys? And I had heard her voice. You know, I was thinking to myself, okay, if this is her voice, then everything seems legit, right? Anyway, we end up talking for a while. We end up questing, doing all that standard stuff. And then things get a little bit more personal, but nothing too crazy. I mean, I'm like 14, 15 years old, right? I'm pretty shy and awkward and weird. And I, tr I tried my best to keep conversations as related to Dungeons and Dragons as I possibly could. So, yeah, we talked about a little bit of other stuff, but it was, it was mostly still Dungeons and Dragons, right? Then out of nowhere, after about a month or so, out of absolutely nowhere, Alexa asks me if I want to see a picture of her. I'm like, okay, sure, why not? But how am I going to know if it's actually you? And she's like, oh, I can't believe you would say that about me. I can't believe you'd think I'd lie. I'll go ahead and, you know, hold up a sign or some shit, you know, like people do. I'm like, okay, sure. 
Um, and then she was like, can I see a picture of you? And I'm like, sure, after, you know, you show me a picture of you first. And she's like, okay, you know, friendly stuff. I mean, I was like 15, so this is a little bit creepy and weird. This is kind of the moment where things go very downhill very quickly, right? So she ends up sending me a picture, and I click on it, and I won't, I will never forget this moment, ever. Maybe when I'm like 95 years old, but I will never forget this moment for the next 80 years. I was expecting it to just be a regular picture, right? When somebody says, hey, I'm going to go ahead and send you a picture, you expect just a regular picture, right? It wasn't just a regular picture, guys. It was it was a nude picture, like completely full nude picture. And that's not the only thing that was suspicious about this picture. How do I put this lightly? She also had a dick. All right, I think that's about as lightly as I can put it. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Uh, I clicked on the picture, and when you look at a picture, at least me anyway, you look at it from the top down, right? So I look at it, and for the first quarter second, I'm thinking to myself, okay, um, seems all right. And then like a quarter of a second through looking at the picture, it just all of a sudden, it just, you know, it just hits you. And I was just like, holy shit. That was my reaction. I was just absolutely shocked. I remember the second that I saw that dick on this girl, I remember my reaction was I immediately just closed the picture. I was, it was just like I had accidentally opened something really bad on my computer. And that's pretty much what my mind was thinking. So I just closed the picture and I knew it was her too because she had a sign up and she like wrote her name down and she wrote my name down on it too. And she was like holding it up in a weird way. So I knew it was her. It wasn't like photoshopped or it wasn't staged. It was 100% her. All of a sudden I'm past the shock moment of it. And I'm thinking to myself, I've been tricked because Never did she mention anything about this. I mean, obviously, it's not a normal thing to mention in a question. It's not like, oh, hey, you know, how's your day going? No, it's great. I had a bagel for breakfast. Oh, that's awesome. Are you transsexual? No, that's not really how it works. But still, I had felt deceived. I had felt wrong, and I had felt very dirty inside. This was probably a childish reaction of mine, but what I did, I don't know if this is what you guys would have done. I don't know if what I did was right. To this day, I still think if this was the appropriate reaction. But ever since she linked me that picture, I have never once said a single word to her back. Um, I immediately removed her from my friends list. I blocked her on Ventrilo, and I made sure that she couldn't contact me. And that was it. I had never, ever talked to her, him, her, since... And that was my reaction. I was just like, okay, not a single word more. I am done. Because I had just felt lied to, deceived, and just I felt fucked up inside. That, that was my reaction to the whole situation. And nobody really knew that we were talking, right? It's not like I had told my friends. I was very shy, and I never told anyone anything. If I was talking to what I thought was a girl, the last person I would tell is anyone. So nobody knew. So if she said anything to anyone... He, she said anything to anyone in game that, you know, we were talking or whatever, I would have just, I would have essentially lied. Again, I'm not sure if that's the appropriate thing to do, but back in my 15 year old mind, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to lie if anything goes around and I'll figure out a way around it because I had a lot of gear. I had really good items and people were probably going to believe me over her. So that's kind of the way that it was. I mean, that was kind of the moment that turned me gay, I mean, into a man. Yeah. Yeah, into a man. So, uh, that's... <laughs> oh, this is so cringe. God. How do I... Oh, my God. How do I even say these words? Like, my parents are a couple of rooms away. I hope they didn't hear this. Anyway, that's the, tran that's the transsexual story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All that YouTube shit, nobody likes to hear it, but too bad. I'm saying it anyway. And definitely make sure to check out some of my other videos. They're pretty, they're pretty dank. So thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for bearing with the cringe. And this was the transsexual story. Peace, y'all.